Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crude for YouTuber that is trying to be a long no by. And today I am going to do a video that I saw Nikki Raven and Annette's makeup corner do. They reacted to some of their old makeup looks and I thought that was really fun to see. Uh, so I have gone down on my Instagram to like where I started to post makeup looks and I thought that we can check on them and I can like see what I think about them now and I do have some old makeup looks that I did I didn't record them and yeah I'm I'm not going to start from the early early beginning I'm going to start from when I changed my channel to English and I think that I have the first look here, actually. I am pretty sure. So I guess I'm going to scooch and then we're going to check. And I don't know if I'm going to roast myself. I don't think so, but yeah. And this is, I don't know how many I will take. I hope this is fun. I have no idea, but we can start with this one. I think this was the first look and okay. First to address the issue, um, or the issue, first to address something, I am now pretty like used to post my looks on Instagram, here in the beginning I wasn't and I have always been, I think that I am a little bit old for you know like the selfie generation because when I was young you didn't have a mobile phone like you have now and you couldn't like just take pictures for fun so I am I have not grown up with taking selfies in that way that people do now and I have always been feeling a little bit awkward with how I look and also I don't know if you've noticed this one but I have never smiled with my teeth on a picture because first of all I can't uh, <laughs> Second of all, that is because when I was a child, I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but maybe I can do it. I looked like this in my mouth. It, I fell when I was, I don't know, five or six and I hit one on my front tooth and my teeth went like all crazy. I had my milky teeth, is that called that? My child teeth and my grown-up teeth at the same time, some of them. And I looked like, it looked like a train wreck in my mouth. And I was so ashamed of this. Now my teeth are, I guess they are fine. But I did never learn how to smile with my teeth because I was ashamed of my teeth and I still don't like them at all. So, yeah, I always think it has been a little bit awkward awkward and I also has a resting bitch face which means that my I look like this um when I am relaxed and it took a while for me I, I think I'm better now like seeing a little bit maybe of a smile not a big smile in my makeup pictures but in the early beginning I did not because I didn't know how to do it still not an expert but okay <laughs> this is the first picture and I think this is the makeup look that I did in my first video that I did in English and I did use the UVS Place to Sula palette and I did really really love this look. I don't know what this kind of pose is but I do like the orange and the yellow eye, the other eye. It's kind of good. I just know this was when I first really started to experiment with colors and I thought this was so so fun. I I was really happy with this look but I remember how nervous I was because this was the first video that I did in English and I can speak English. I'm not fluent in it but it, it just it was so hard and I was so nervous to post and this is the look I did. I was happy with the look and now would I do it the same way? No, I would use more colors, get a little bit more depth maybe. And uh, yeah, but, but I don't think that this is a super bad look. I don't know about my eyebrows, uh, eyebrows though. They were kind of harsh maybe. 
the next look this I did on uh, with the blush dry palette I think with the blossom palette I don't owe that palette anymore I have decluttering it and I really did know what I wanted to do for kind of look and I did this and I think that I was kind of happy with it but not like super happy with it and now when I look at it I think this is like the typical me I want to mix two colors that doesn't mix that good but I do it anyway and here red and green I like them together but you have to be really careful and it's better to use maybe a matte red and the shimmer green or a shimmer green and a, no a shimmer red and a matte green because it doesn't get as messy and I think this looks a little bit too blocky I wouldn't do this look again I wouldn't because I don't think it's uh, that good I would switch out something to a shimmer the red and the yellow though they look good together but the green in there I don't know the next look is this one this I did with the uh, color rain vivid pigments and I don't know so I have always liked to do two different eyes but this one I don't really know if this was such a good look actually and I think I only did use one shade on each eye maybe two but um, yeah I like the concept but I don't think this look is like super good so no I'm not super happy with this one the next look is this one and I think this was the single collection the feather collection from Nabla if I'm not mistaking and I do like this these colors or is it only one no it has to be more uh, I don't think the blend though I don't know if you can see it maybe I can zoom in uh, I don't think the blend is super good like with my crease and uh, the shadow on the eye and I don't think the lips are great to this look but I do like this look and I don't actually do these kind of matte looks anymore like with only one shade all over my lid maybe I should do it but I think it bores me a little bit or do I have something in my outer corners maybe I have a black there I think I could do this look again and do it more nicely <laughs> so maybe I should do it but this was in the beginning I felt it was awkward to do makeup on camera I think it was awkward to take a photo of myself when I was finished and it wasn't my favorite thing the next look though this I do really like I think I could work a little bit better with the blend this I did with a kaleidoscope dream is it called that the one with the um, Kristen Leanne and Urban Decay and I do like this green shimmer in there I don't know the pink like in my upper inner corner crease I wouldn't take it on such a big surface maybe do like an inner corner highlight instead and take a green a lighter green in my crease and then do the same lid and a matte pink as my inner corner I think that would be a good look maybe I should try that because I had a series where I did some videos where I took an old look and made it with a new palette so maybe I should redo this and see how that will look I think that would look really good that is an idea that I think I'm going to follow through I like the look but the blend could be better and I think the pink is too much it loses like I think it would look better if it just was really strong in my inner corners instead but nothing wrong with it and the next look this is a combo that I love I think this is an amazing combo a really dark blue and an orange and I don't think it matters if you do mattes or if you do shimmers but dark blue and orange is a really really nice combo and this one 
this look I was so so happy with it and I did really like it and I think it looks kind of good but no you know like the, the quality on Instagram isn't the best and if you have an Android we are not prioritized prioritized at the Instagram but yeah, this is definitely a look that I could do again, and I have done some similar looks. But maybe not with a really deep blue. Maybe I should do that, actually. Should I do all these looks? I don't know. The next look. I do love this, but I think it's missing something. This is with the Creepy Cute palette, and I only did use two shades. I don't know, the picture is so so light and uh, yeah, I think purple and green, it does look really really good, but I just think it's missing something, maybe if I would have taken something in my crease, um, both a purple and a green, some deeper tones of that, and then do this on the lids. But it feels like the blend isn't perfect on this either and you always learn and you learn how you uh, work best with your eye shape. And this was four years ago and I think that I did pretty good. It can always be better. This is a little bit like, it feels like I've just thrown the eyeshadows on and be done. And I think if I just have worked a little bit more with this, I think it would turn out really, really cool. But yeah. The blend isn't perfect, but this green is amazing. Maybe with a little bit of a darker and deeper purple, this would have been look really, really good. It's not a perfect look, but it's not a catastrophe. The next one, I do really like. I don't know which palette this is. It is something from Yuva's Place. Maybe the Saharan palette. I don't have this anymore. Saharan 2 maybe it is. I don't know. But this I do like. I do like to have a pink and then a black. I I like to do a smoky eye. And I think I have one more of these. With a half cut crease with a black. I do like this look. I think though I could have made the crease a little bit darker. And also here the blend up in the crease. It's like non-existing and I think it could be so much better. I did though take my eyeshadows pretty high but it feels like now I follow my eyebrow a little bit more than I did back then. But yeah the color combo I do really like. I don't did such smoky under eyes before but it is an okay look. Okay the next look. I do not like this. <laughs> I don't know why. But this is just a really nice, it would have been really nice with a really light pink in my inner corners. And I think this looks just a little bit too flat. I hope that I do things better than this now. And also like, how do I look? Like the mouth, What what am I doing? But yeah, I think I could do this look better now. And also it feels like I I need to go up more because I have hooded eyes. And I have, I don't know if I have deep set eyes. No, I guess they are just really hooded. Um, but I should have taken the crease shade higher up, especially like out here. I think I'm better at that now, take it high up in like the whole way and the last look i'm going to talk about i mm, this was the first ever free looks one palette i did i did it with the anastasia was it the modern renaissance i have decluttering that because i didn't like it first off the angle of this photo is not good and uh, this is a halo eye. It's a kind of boring halo eye. If I would ever redo this one, I would have a darker shade 
my crease and a more a darker shade in my crease and also I would take in the halo for longer up to my brow and also the same thing here I think that my crease shade is a little bit too low I think I could have taken it a little bit higher and I'm not super thrilled about this. I know though how happy I was with the Three Looks One palette. It was my first one and it was really new to me. I thought it was so fun to come up with three different looks, but I don't think that this is like the best look that I've ever done. Not by far. I guess it's a good halo, but it's a little bit boring and I think I should have done the halo part a little bit bigger. But yeah, it's a neutral halo eye. What more can you ask for? And yeah, that was all the 10 looks that I was going to react to and talk about. If you liked this, please let me know. If you didn't like it, you didn't. And I won't do any more looks. But I think it's fun to go back. I think I actually have learned a, l learned a lot. That feels strange. But I am more comfortable now. To do more colorful looks and also I am more comfortable in front of the camera both when I'm filming and also while I taking pictures I thought it was so like in the beginning when I was going to take a picture and my boyfriend saw me taking the picture I was so ashamed <laughs> now I'm like yeah you can watch me whatever I don't care but I think maybe that is because I didn't grow up when cell phones even did have a camera so selfies isn't my thing and it is a little bit scary to post a selfie I thought now I don't really care but yeah I do really hope that you've liked this video and I will leave Nikki and Annette down in the description if you want to see their videos I think it's so fun to see what people think about looks that they have done before and like see how different you think about makeup now and the changes you have done to maybe if you have followed the rules or followed like a tutorial but it didn't match your or look good to your eye shape and you try something that looked better I think it's always fun to see how people evolve their makeup game if you say it like that and yeah I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!